Hi friends, today we will learn how to fetch or filter data from data grid view using text box, combo box and date to date. Okay. Here I already designed and created a form in the name of purchase view. I already have database in the table already have many records saved. Now we will see how to filter date to date under using uh, purchase number like that. Uh, you see here uh, for purchase I used two tables purchase main and purchase sub. In purchase main I used purchase number, reference number, bill type whether it's credit or uh, debit bill, bill number, bill date, vendor name from whom we purchased order number if you have given order to the supplier that order number order date terms any uh, payment terms is there total amount any discount trade tax net amount narration round of amount like that uh, saved in purchase main and uh, in the purchase sub same as purchase main purchase number reference number order number bill date vendor name serial number uh, the difference between purchase and purchase main and purchase sub is in purchase main we used the purchase number from whom we purchased the um, items and the total amount discount amount details etc in the purchase sub we mentioned the see how many products we purchased that product code product name the manufacturing date expiry date MRP purchase rate tax percent tax amount discount discount percent sales rate, cost, unit of measurement, quantity, any free quantity received, batch number, margin, unit, cost per unit, like all the details we saved in the purchase sub table. So now we will fetch data from these two tables using um, this date to date and combo box and the text box. Okay, uh, let's uh, run this form. Okay, this is for purchase view in the combo box I used uh, these items if I click all means all the records will be displayed into uh, data grid view uh, if I click a purchase number the text box will be displayed if I click the whole the text box will be visible false if I click any um, other items except all the text box will be visible to our mm, Okay, if I uh, purchase number, we will type product code, product name, vendor name, reference number, etc. Then a year, date to time, uh, date to data, uh, from which date, uh, from which month we purchase, like this, we can view here. Um, in the bottom, total amount, total discount amount, uh, total quantity, total tax amount, the details will be displayed in the bottom. Okay, now start with this first all if I click all click the view button all the records will be displayed in purchase total how many purchase main total 39 records will be displayed in the purchase sub total I think 363 records will be displayed so all the details is there purchase number reference number build number build date vendor name order number order date so all are purchased in credit, uh, total amount, discount amount, like a round of all the details displayed in the, this is purchase main data grid view, this is purchase sub data grid view, here product details, product expiry, year, month, uh, uh, manufacturing data, uh, tax percentage, discount percentage, sales rate, uh, unit of measurement, quantity, any free quantity, like a batch number, all the details displayed in the data grid view. Okay. If I filter by purchase number, okay, one more thing, if I click um, all again, so the data is displayed here. Uh, if I want to know in purchase number what are the products I purchased means, if I click the uh, purchase number in the first row, in the um, purchase main data grid view, in the first data grid view, 
so these are the things i purchased in the purchase number 1 if i click uh, invoice number different two products i purchased in the uh, in this number like that we can fetch your data if i click uh, purchase uh, number 3 I purchased the total quantity 63. Total amount, total discount amount, tax amount. That all the details will be here. If I click the second I, uh, second purchase number, so total quantity I purchased 10. Here you can see quantity in the first product six, second product four. So total quantity I purchased 10. Total discount amount, total amount, bill amount, all the details displayed here. Okay. This is the one uh, fetching method. Now we will fetch using this number. If I click purchase number, okay. This is dynamic data grid view created here. I uh, in in the before video I explained how to create this dynamic videos. If you haven't seen, now um, go um, go and see that video. How to create this dynamic video? In this video also I will explain how to create that dynamic data grid view. Okay, in the data grid view, purchase number and uh, where uh, from vendor name, which vendor uh, we purchased, like the details will be displayed. Uh, top ten records will be displayed here. Okay, if I click a purchase number one, enter the gather focus will be uh, focus around view button. If I click view button here, you can see only purchase number one will be displayed in the first data grid view. Here, uh, purchase sub we purchased uh, like seven things. Seven or oh, yes, seven things well, we purchased. The details will be displayed. If I click uh, another number, purchase number two. Uh, in the dynamic data grid view, we can use up and queue, up, up, down queues, etc. If I click second and click the view button, the purchase number ten or two, we bought uh, total ten quantities. The details will be displayed in both the data grid view. Okay. Now, product code. If um, I used any product code, that code will be displayed in the uh, yeah, like uh, four. So, what are the co product code? Uh, started with four. It's displayed here four to three five. If I click enter, view. Only one product purchased in you know, details. This uh, purchase main uh, we can't get product code. It will be uh, displayed in the purchase sub. So I mean uh, second data grid view only we can fetch this details. So product code four to three five in product name insulin experiment all the details will be displayed. Second product name if. Um, Any letter you can type here, which started with the no, time text changed. Uh, if I click view, sorry. Hmm. Um, we can search uh, through uh, product name also. If I click the any product name, click view button. If the record exists, means we can display here. Otherwise, uh, there is no records. So, okay, I will clearly explain this. Purchase um, product name skin like. Okay. Yes, skin like product. If I click the view button, watches them. Monte five of a skin and jig. So, uh, in the purchase number one, we purchased a Monte 5 mg quantity. 
um, two quantity we purchased like that we can search vendor name vendor name is we purchased from Salam so which supplier like the details will be displayed and uh, last reference number we can search using this reference number also if I click reference number that view okay next from date to date view so I can fetch month by month or date by data if I click on the March month March 1 to March 15 so I can fetch the data okay March 1 to March 31 total uh, this much um, data um, inserted in the database okay Okay, now I will explain the code here. I used a combo box here. That combo box in even combo box selected index change. Selected index change index. Okay. Combo box search that selected index equals zero means text box visible false. I told you no. If not equal to zero means text box uh, visible true and uh, text box uh, cleared. And then I used uh, two functions get main and uh, get sub. That means uh, get in the get main I. Uh, I fetch record from purchase main. So here I given connection string. Uh, connection cn equal to new connection means uh, I declared a class here. Connection publicly I used one class. So for that shortcut I used here. Uh, in that uh, connection class I used a public SQL connection con, SQL command cmd, SQL adapter sta, string pkk. Of, uh, here I uh, specified a uh, connection string of our database uh, next uh, I create uh, two functions data send data send is used to insert update delete insert update delete we use uh, SQL command I uh, that same code used here connection open connection SQL command SQL commands here yeah. SQL means SQL query will be executed and connection cmd execute non query pkk string uh, null if any error means the pkk please check your data will be message displayed same data get here connection open uh, for uh, fetching the data we don't need to open and close the connection for uh, use the sql data adapter sql query like that so this i called here connection cn equal to new connection and uh, um, connect SQL query select a star from purchase main here I post condition so the condition will be uh, in the view button based on combo box and text box values here data table created day and the data grid view rows one dot clear here in for each loop number of records will be displayed uh, data grid view one dot rows of n dot cells dg column name and row of uh, field name this all displayed next to the total amount net amount so dg1 net amount here uh, some calculated here double that is um, posted on total amount dot text next to get sub function here also same as purchase main the total amount total discount total tax this all the details calculated here only based on the data grid view two column values if a uh, no if records the data grid view rows count greater than zero means that all the details will be displayed otherwise that um, text boxes value will be zero if i click the click but uh, view button combo box search selected index zero means that of all so uh, we can get all the details from get main and the get sub so order by purchase number 
that condition will be displayed. This is the condition I used here. Okay. Next, combo box selected index. One means uh, based on condition purchase number. We are fetching the database, uh, fetching the data based on purchase number. Selected index 2 means uh, we can fetch data using product code. Selected index 3 means we can fetch data using product name and 4 file like the vendor name um, and a reference number, order number and all those things. In the form load I used a search combo box selected index 0. Okay. This much I explained on the dynamic data grid view I explain again in this video this is the in the load event search I called a search function search calls an, uh, is year only I declared private data grid view as data uh, DG view. Um, I declared the six columns and avoid the search functions. Data grid view equal to new data grid view. I declared the six columns here and the column header style and the add range. This all the things I declared here and the DG data grid view name. Um, default uh, when I load the form the DG data grid view visible false. All the columns will be visible false. A user can't add rows here. That's why allow user to add rows false. Row header visible false. Selection mode that is full row selector default setter. And the mouse double click we can use here. If I mouse double click on purchase first data grid view uh, that fetch data from purchase sub like that. Data grid view read only true. Like that. This is the code for create a dynamic data grid view. This is uh, another function. Um, void is search this is used to locate the data grid view dynamic data grid view where we have to locate the data grid view locate data grid view height and width um, like that ok and the last one is combo box search key down here I used a combo box key down also. <laughs> if I uh, combo box selected index 0 means button view focus. Otherwise text to box search may focus. Okay. Uh, I think this is useful to you. Okay. Thank you for watching my video.